Satan makes you feel good. The vibes. What what is the Satan? It's vibe? like a porcelain like Satan head. Haram. Here's the funny part. You actively deny the existence of God, mm -hmm. but also like the vibe of the opposite of God. A guy called Adam22. Once again, I have no idea who this man is. I just saw on Twitter yesterday that he was with a porn star who'd never done a male scene. They got married, and like a week after their marriage, she did her first male scene with some random dude. And he's on a podcast defending it. Did his wife had sex with somebody else? Correct. Why? If you ever let your girl disrespect you, you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. Elena, 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 Elena. You're alone, you're alone, you're alone. What's up? Lena, you're yeah. alone, you're alone. Wait, how, okay, what's up? Forget, you don't need Alan's permission. Can I come over and just quickly, before he gets over work, can I please come over? We just film a scene, a quick scene. He doesn't have to know. Only if you can get here, like, right now. So you're down. If Adam doesn't know, you're down. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're down tonight type shit. Only for you. Really? Only for you. How long, how long can we be, though? I mean, how long can you last? Five, three minutes, two, five minutes for you. <laughs> Whatever you need, I'm here for you. Really? I can't even see your face right now. I can't find the Discord. I closed it somewhere on my freaking computer. Okay. Um. I'm, I think. Oh, there I'm, you are. Hi. Hey. So yeah. Um. If you really are down, let's do it. Come on. How big is it? Six. Six and a half. You know how to use it? Yes. Swear to God. All right. Haram. Like this. This is the level you can. This. But this is what the Matrix wants from you as a man. They want the woman in charge and the man below with no backbone, because if the woman's in charge, they can emotionally affect her. They can scare her. You can scare a woman easier than you can scare a man. A man. A real man's hard to scare. A woman you can make afraid of the vaccine, right? Be afraid, COVID, be scared. If she's in charge of the household, I would argue in nearly any household where the female was dominant, everyone's vaccinated. I would argue that point hard. Of course. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would argue it. I don't, I don't have the statistics. It's just logic to me. So, <clears throat> Talk about women being unhappy. What's actually interesting about the female mind, once again, they're going to call me a misogynist, is that when you're an emotionally led person, you're more prone to chaos. It takes real stoicism to lead. So why are these women unhappy? Because no one's leading them. No fathers, no men of no backbone, no man they respect. So they're relying on society, which is promoting chaos, and their own mental state. Women will say all the time, ah, oh, my period was coming up, so I was crazy. Like, they'll say that themselves. So without any kind of hard rock of emotional security to give her a hug and say, don't worry, baby, calm down, it's okay. When, you're not, when you have no hard rock of emotional security and you lead her, leave her to her own devices, she's gonna be to a degree chaotic. And you know who told me this? A woman said this to me. A woman said this to me. A woman said, most women are closer to a mental breakdown than you possibly believe, day by day. I was like, really? She goes, yeah, and that's, that's what I love about my husband. He makes me feel happy and secure and safe. If I'm starting to have a problem, I know I go to him and he makes me feel safe. He's my rock. There's a woman said this to me a long time ago. Yes. So why are women miserable? Because where are they going to get their happiness from? Where are they going to get their emotional stability from? It's not their job. I don't believe it's a woman's job to be emotionally stable. It's a woman's job to do many other very important things that men can't do. More important. They're better than men at a lot of things, women are. But it's our job to be emotionally stable. Women are better than us at certain things. We're better at other things. And that's why as a team, we're so powerful. To sit and pretend we're all the same the whole way through, then why do we even need each other anymore? Well, I don't think we do. You're exactly it. And this is why we have birth rates declining, porn, women who are running around sharing one man with no intention of having children, marriage is gone. Like, where do we think this is gonna end? And what's interesting about well, it- Well, it ends with the training thing, right? Well, complete, well, yeah. That's the ultimate. No, no, no I'm, I'm serious though. Is it, I mean, if there's no, I mean, scrambling the idea of uh, the gender binary, of sex differences, like. Kid gets to the age where she understands, or maybe she could like get it in steps, like, oh, mom, mom is a model. Mom's doing a photo shoot today. Like people, oh, mom makes money because people like the photos of mom. Mom's getting BBC'd. Oh, he no. needs some milk. Okay, what should oh you perform? God. What do you perform more, uh, the BBC or uh, Mr. Uh, husband over here? <laughs> is this why you put us in two different rooms? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We could just be truthful here, guys. Truthful, okay? Um, I did enjoy uh, Jason's new. Everything not new is interesting and fun, but no, no. uh, what?
You made him leave. Look at that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to catch a breath. So wait, did you choose Jason over your husband? I have been with one person for seven years. And although Adam is very exciting to me, like a new experience is always going to be a little more interesting and different. And Adam could attest to that. Like a lot of sure. the things we have are probably a lot Chat. more fun than him just me on a regular night right yeah, yeah, yeah so i had fun with jason but i still have a lot of fun with my partner and i don't prefer jason's over adam's that's okay. not what you're gonna catch me saying over okay. here adam has facial tattoos that right there should let you know that this man makes poor life decisions and it does not matter how many tattoo he has or possesses because none of them will cover up how much of a pitiful human being he is. Talk about the after effects of everything. After it happens, how do you feel? And be honest. Before she comes in here, before anyone, how did you feel after this happened? So basically it was like a sequence of different emotions. My first, so like before she did it, I would describe myself as like a little worried. Like I had agreed to it, but I was still like worried. Like, am I gonna trip out? Like, am I gonna hate the feeling of knowing that she did this? Am I, you know, is it just going to be like bad for our relationship? Like I was a little bit worried before she did it. Then she did it. And <laughs> I didn't really like feel anything bad. With all the promo, the fame, the clout, I know for a fact that Adam is not sitting in that chair happy. And the only thing that can save us is this woman. Good afternoon. I'm Samir Munshi. I work with the Coalition of Virtue. I'm a Muslim-led nonprofit based here in Maryland. And I want to address the board on the issue of opt-out. I firstly want to acknowledge, like Sister Hussein did, that today is the day of Arafah. It's the holiest day of the year for Muslims. And many of us are fasting, yet we came out to stand in the rain and to voice our concerns because for us, this is genuinely an issue of faith, not hate. And we reject the implication that acting on our faith's principles is a willful means of harming others. In fact, we see it as a point of bigotry that some only care for our community and will only protect our rights when we assimilate to their way of life and ways of thinking. Just like it's a point of bigotry when some refuse our women's right to wear hijab and to pray, condemning us for our views on this issue is in, in itself another act of bigotry like the ones Muslims and immigrants have faced in this country for years. The same religion that causes Muslims to care about environmental justice, food insecurity, or ending anti-black racism is the same religion that causes us to care about this issue. Our faith is not partisan, and our people are not backwards. Part of the American dream of our people is that they pass on their values to their children. But members of this school board have mocked our values and have said we cannot be allowed to opt our children out precisely because they want to end that dream. Our constitutional right to religious freedom and to raise our children precisely protects that dream. Many of our families don't have much of a choice whether to place their children in this public setting. So we ask that we at least have a choice uh, for our children not to be forced to participate in celebrating or normalizing views that contradict our religion. These children will learn about same-sex couples and trans-identifying people, whether, they are whether they learn these things in school or not. And the conversations that they will have with these members of our community will serve as education on these matters later in their lives. But we're asking that our children not be strong-armed at such a young age into believing certain ideas about gender and sexuality, or that the school system insist on turning our children against the religious values that we hold. This is why Islam is becoming one of the fastest growing religions because when it comes to Islam and Muslims, they will never throw away their self-dignity, their beliefs for clout, fame, and money. I applaud this woman and maybe Adam22 can take notes and learn from this. And gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Who cooks in a lesbian relationship? Oh God, this shit again. Who? No one. They both eat out. I regret asking. Two men broke into a pharmacy and stole all the Viagra. The police said to be on the lookout for hardened criminals. Ah, they must have had a hard time escaping. Bet. Why did the Mexican throw his wife off the bridge? Why? Tequila! That's racist, but kind of funny, so I'll let it pass. Gracias. Why does Batman only cover half of his face? Oh God, not the Batman jokes again. It's for the police, so they'll know he's white. Okay, calm down, Joker.